Audacity. Instructions for this, courtesy of Larry Hudson. And if you haven't checked out his Adobe Audition or Audacity class, we have one starting soon and I'll link it in the notes. Punch and Roll gives the performer a five second pre-roll by default before it starts recording. Now the length can be altered in preferences, then to recording, punch and roll recording, and then pre-roll. The pre-roll allows the performer to hear the lines and speak with them on the pre-roll to get into the same style so they can continue performing the script without hearing a big difference from what was previously recorded. Here's a quick note, even though it is called punch and roll, what it's actually doing is rolling and then punching in to record. Also, oddly, you won't find a plugin named punch and roll in your plugins list, but it is there. Audacity's use of punch and roll is limited in that you can only record from the end of your track. If you place your playhead some other place on the track, it'll give you the pre-roll from there and will delete everything to the right on your track. Step one, place your playhead at the end of the track. Step two, go to the menu bar and click transport, then recording, then punch and roll record, or use the keyboard shortcut shift plus D. And that's Audacity's punch and roll.